Hey YouTube, what is up? If you guys have seen anything out of Microsoft lately, it's likely you've heard of Microsoft HoloLens. And if you don't know what Microsoft HoloLens is, it's basically an augmented reality headset that you wear that uh, basically gives you computer-generated graphics within the real world and makes tabletops look like Minecraft lands or you could three-dimensionally build a virtual object and then print it with a 3D printer, or you could place virtual holograms over a skeletal structure of something to actually create, say, a virtual muscular structure on top of a physical skeleton. It's crazy shit like that that Microsoft is pulling off with HoloLens. And if you've seen Microsoft's HoloLens, you know the Minecraft demonstration where they showed Minecraft being played in 3D where you can walk around it and act as a god and control Minecraft. And the same thing with Spartans for Halo 5. They had a Halo 5, I guess, presser that you were able to wear the HoloLens for. And then Spartan Sarah Palmer appeared like a little tabletop figure, walked around as a hologram, like in Halo. If you've ever seen Halo, like, I guess, like Cortana would appear. She looked kind of like that and walked around and showed you the world. The windows in the place, if you looked out of them, were actually showing a space galaxy instead of showing a green wall or the rest of the cover, like the rest of the press event that was happening. And... The only thing I was thinking of that entire time was if Microsoft can buy Minecraft and do that, imagine if Microsoft decided to buy Yu-Gi-Oh. That's right, I'm fucking serious. If Microsoft bought Yu-Gi-Oh, which is basically, in its entirety, the anime is based off of, and I guess the manga too, manga, whatever you want to say, is based off of three-dimensional augmented reality fighting monsters. Fuck, even Pokemon's possible, but I'm saying because... Yu-Gi-Oh! is not owned by Nintendo, and Nintendo would never sell Pokemon because it's the only thing that makes them money pretty much anymore. That and Fire Emblem. But if Microsoft is able to buy Yu-Gi-Oh! from Konami or whoever still owns it, they can make Yu-Gi-Oh! in three dimensions like the TV show. I mean, how fucking cool would that be? Imagine fucking dual discs actually working, like here. Say this this Toon Link amiibo, say this was like a mid-shield Gardener. You summon it, and imagine it actually popped up in three dimensions like this. And in augmented reality, you saw it standing there. And if you, you know, say, I attack, or do some hand gesture that might signal attack, it actually slashed its sword. If you did Dark Magician and you said Dark Magic Attack, it would do an actual Dark Magic Attack. How cool would that be? Microsoft, you are my only hope. Please, 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 buy... Yu-Gi-Oh! from whoever owns it. Maybe it's Konami, I don't know. Whoever owns Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, you need to buy it from them because it would be absolutely amazing to incorporate Yu-Gi-Oh! with dual discs or even on a tabletop. I'm pretty sure they possess the technology for some kind of augmented reality tabletop like this. If I took this Exodia card and placed it on this tray and Exodia just popped up or if I placed Exodia on my tabletop and Exodia popped up, how cool would that be? Obviously, it would require a little bit of effort, but Minecraft seems fucking crazy and they managed to do that so imagine what they could do if they bought Yu-Gi-Oh! It's obviously not going to cost two billion dollars for Yu-Gi-Oh! to be bought by Microsoft but if you consider the amount of money that they could invest after that point say they buy it for a hundred million they have technically speaking a difference between hundred million and two billion they could probably invest like you know two million dollars into R&D to make it a physical thing so that it could just look at a Yu-Gi-Oh! card and recognize what it is and then just fucking make it appear. I mean how cool would that be? Especially if it could read the type of card it is, if there's ghost rare, if it's an ultra rare, maybe Exodia's, you know, golden parts are actually the reflection that's on the card. Who knows the possibilities and depths they could go to with this, but that would be absolutely fucking crazy. I mean, Amiibo is kind of like that for Nintendo, where it's an actual physical figure, but imagine if by placing a card, you could just summon Exodia. Like, if you have five Exodia cards in your hand, you put them on the field, you win automatically. Or something like that. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! has gone downhill lately. And it's, I don't know how well it's doing, but after 5Ds, Yu-Gi-Oh! got pretty shitty. And card games on motorcycle didn't help that, and it kind of just threw more dirt out of the grave that it was digging for itself. And just went a little deeper and a little deeper, and then Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel dug even deeper. And this, I think, is Yu-Gi-Oh!'s franchising ability to pull itself out of the hole it's dug for itself. And to get rid of some of the gimmicks for this super awesome mega gimmick. I mean, oh, it's so cool if they could do that. Why don't they do it? Just, Microsoft, please, for the love of God, buy Yu-Gi-Oh! so that we can have three-dimensional Yu-Gi-Oh! duels between dual discs. That'd be so cool, even if it's just tabletop. You've already shown the possibilities of it recognizing a table. It could obviously recognize something like this. There's a number on the bottom. If it could clearly see the number, maybe it could make the card appear. Who knows? It's just so cool of an idea. And I'm giving you this one for free, Microsoft. I'm not charging anything for it. Maybe if you buy Yu-Gi-Oh!, you can throw me a million dollars for the guy that had this great idea. 
but please just buy Yu-Gi-Oh so that I can play three-dimensional Yu-Gi-Oh on my dual disc after I buy one of your hollow lenses and not just Microsoft on the PC or Xbox One or whatever weird cross compatibility you're having going on for the Xbox and Windows 10. I seem like I might have gotten a little out of control with that, but I really want Yu-Gi-Oh three dimensions. That'd be so cool. The Yu-Gi-Oh games suck nowadays and there's none of them that I actually enjoy playing. They always make you do some dumb story when you can't just duel. I mean, I use, I duel online through, you know, different sites and stuff like that. But I mean, a first party supported Yu-Gi-Oh! three-dimensional duel would probably be the thing that makes me go absolutely crazy and buy every Yu-Gi-Oh! card ever. I mean, I have a decent amount of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, binders and boxes and shoe boxes full, but imagine three-dimensional dueling. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I got a little carried away, but if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any cool ideas for HoloLens, type it down below if you have a thing you could add to this video type it down below if you like the video don't forget to click subscribe as well because it's free it's fun and i'll see you guys in the next one